afternoon. It's um, March the uh, 4th, and I wanted to go ahead and get some uh, Megaton hybrid cabbages planted. We have a raised bed box outside where we plant our cabbages, and these are an extra large cabbage. And the reason we bought these seeds were because I've grown two other varieties of cabbages and both varieties, the heads split. And fortunately for me, I'm in the garden every day and I was able to catch it a couple of days after it split or they split. And we went ahead and harvested our cabbages. And this variety is made or is actually hybridized and it's uh the selling point for me was it says that the heads don't split on these so we're gonna we're gonna try it we uh we broke records last night with our rainfall we got two inches of rain and it flooded out our uh, backyard and uh that's what I'm worried about this early spring. So we're going to go ahead and get this get this going. And maybe we can get some of these seeds planted. And even if we have to do a couple of plantings at them, then that's what we'll do. I may have to get my glasses because it's hard to see these tiny little seeds. So our mixture here is just Pro Mix. Let's see. Pro Mix, tomato and vegetable fertilizer, and some worm castings. I I mix one cubic foot of Pro Mix in a bucket, one cup of tomato and vegetable fertilizer, and one um, cup of worm castings to make our seed starting mix. And with the rain we got last night, I was able to get some rainwater. And these are 16-ounce Solo cups with holes in the bottom. And I put about three inches of water in the bottom of this um, container to let it go ahead and wick up the moisture. You can see the water level in the bottom. And it's, it's wicking up the moisture because the uh, soil's getting dark at the top. So we're going to go ahead and plant... Uh, probably two seeds in every cup. Maybe just, maybe go ahead and do two seeds in every cup. Let's see if you can see these things. They're tiny little things. So, uh, our area, it says on this package to space them about two foot apart. So, in our planter box, we only have room for two. So, we're going to start a few of these seeds. And we'll take the, uh, I'm going to start, put two seeds in each cup. And then we will um, take the best looking two. Take the best looking two seeds or two plants if they sprout, Lord willing they sprout. And we'll plant those in our planter box. And we'll do another video if we're lucky enough to get these things to sprout. Which they're fresh seeds, brand new seeds, so that shouldn't be an issue. And if we get um, if we get two coming up in each cup, cup, I'll just cut off the uh, snip off the uh, smallest one and keep the biggest ones. So what I'll do, I just planted those about an eighth of an inch deep. I didn't plant them deep at all. I'm going to go ahead and let me take a look at this. Yep, they're in the hole. They're in the hole. They're in the hole. And they're in the hole. And what we'll do is we'll just take this skewer and lightly cover that soil back over. They're only planted an eighth of an inch deep. I don't plant them too deep because this is a actual planting mix, not a seed starter mix. It don't have as much perlite and vermiculite in it. But it works great and it's cheaper when you buy it in the bales even though the prices are going up. So those are planted. I'll put on my calendar what day, and I'll go ahead and post this video and put the uh, put the uh, date on it. And hopefully with any luck, within the next few weeks, 
We'll have some of these to start, and once they get up above ground, we'll do another video. And that's how we do our uh, Megaton Hybrid Cabbage from uh, Vermont Seeds. Thanks for watching.